Well, howdy diddly dandy there, Chums today, Captain of the Steves, and today, Chums, for you guys out there in the viewerverse, I've got some news, and boy, have I got some news. So, we know inside of the No Man's Sky verse, over on the Twitter space, if Sean of the Murrays posts a singular emoji on its own, it means there's an update coming. And Sean of the Murrays has posted an emoji. What emoji? I'll put it there. Yeah, so it's like a, an angry face with an expletive over the mouth. So what could this mean? I mean, I see it that that's cursing, isn't it? So does it mean something's going to happen around cursed items inside a game? I mean, we've had these things inside a game for freaking years. These treasures that when you pick them up, it's got a little bit of text that says a curse will follow you across the stars and to sell it before that happens. But nothing actually happens. I mean, it could be something around that. Maybe we're going to get given another expedition around that sort of mechanic. I mean, let's face it, in the last expedition that we just had, the old fishing one, we got gifted a couple of those as rewards. In fact, we have for a couple of expeditions now. And they, they serve no purpose. Yes, they sell for a lot of freaking units, but maybe that's why I've been being, being given them. So yeah, I might be jumping into game in a, in a nearby episode to go and find some of those and show you guys and the view of us how you can find these cursed objects, just in case they get given rhyme and reason. So there is that. that. That's pretty darn crazy stuff. But also inside of the game files, that bomber boy, I've done quite a fair few videos on what that bomber boy has found inside of the game files. So if this is new news to you, he's found in their purple systems. And inside these purple systems, pretty much every planet inside the purple system is a dissonant planet. Kind of cursed. All cursed worlds. We also know there's a new underwater biomes and a new relic biome that could be coming into fruition from those game file leaks, if you want to call them leaks. So it could be that we're going to get cursed worlds. We might not have anything to do with those cursed objects, but you know, just, let's do a video anyway. <laughs> cool, yeah. Anyway, I wanted to know what you guys inside the viewerverse for this update might be. So I done some polls over on the Tinterwebs. So I'm going to bring up the old Tinterwebs. I'm going to go and take a quick look at that, people. So here we go. Chicka pow and chicka boom. Here we go. So the actual emoji itself, if you haven't seen it, is this like little angry face with the expletive. And it got tweeted out by Sean again. At pretty late in the eve over here in UK time. I really don't know whether Sean is inside of our time zone anymore, people. It's a bizarre one. He keeps putting them out at freaking close to midnight. And then I'm laying in bed thinking, what could this update be? And it, seriously, as soon as I see emoji like this from Sean, it's like Christmas Eve for me. I'm that excited. It's freaking mental. Anyway, so the first thing I've done is I looked up what the meaning of this emoji is, because I'm not really down with all the emojis, I have to say, you know, and I just type a little phrases. An angry red face with a black bar and white Grawlixes covers its mouth, indicating it's swearing or being vulgar. Grawlixes are typographical symbols, e.g. blah 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 blah, representing swear words or obscenities, often used to convey an outburst of anger or frustration or rage. Okay, now we, we do know that the Void Mother is quite angry at the Atlas for not listening to her. Rage? Does that fit the parameters of that? Could it be that the update might be around the Void Mother's rage? I was also thinking of because it's like censored out, it's been redacted, um, removed from our actual words, where it says because or whatever. I was wondering whether it might be to do with that, the whole 1616. Maybe this is going to be some sort of law update. But anyway, OK, so here are some of my ideas going from things that are inside of the game, like Hex or Hexite, which are kind of the same thing, or Curse, because it's, he's cursing, or a voice like the Void of Freedom that we get from pirate systems. And then I just put in Grawlixies because I like the word. <laughs> There we go. Anyways, we've got quite a fair few comments on this one. We've got 27 comments. They're all quite sort of, you know, one-liners in a roundabout way. I like this one. Hopefully an AI voiceover. Yes, Voyager C. Heck yeah, that's a cool idea. It would be nice to have voice acting or voiceovers inside of the actual narrative. Maybe we as a side reference to the Void Mother. Yeah, just mentioned that. I, I, I would imagine so. Not trying to get too hyped, so I'm just going to bet that it's a spooky expedition. I kind of feel that it could be around that sort of level. 
and, and another expedition. Now, a lot of people are saying that we've already had four expeditions. We've already had four expeditions this year. It's not going to be another expedition. But we actually only had three expeditions the year prior. And they did say that expeditions will be every season. Now, it could be that the expedition from last season sort of got delayed and waylaid and pushed over to this year. I mean, we started the year with an expedition. So maybe they're just trying to balance it out. So we've got even numbers by the end of this year to bring us up to the whole 16 expeditions run. And also it helps with the redux, doesn't it, really? Anyhow, so yeah, I think it could be an expedition. I'm not ruling it out just because of the number of expeditions we've had previous year, this year. I kind of feel that it could be on the cards as another expedition. Also, I feel that if we did have another expedition that takes us up to the first week of December, and then the, the reduxes start, then we're back into key or pattern of what's happened in, you, in previous years. All free freighters are now cursed freighters. I was wondering whether it might have something to do with maybe seeing an organic freighter turn up, because we've got the pirate dreadnoughts now. We've got like sentinel dreadnoughts. We've had those since like day dot, but we haven't had a living freighter. We've got living frigates. We've got living ships. That's the missing key element is a living freighter. But I just couldn't see how that emoji with the expletive ties into that unless Sean's like, holy fiery moly well look at the size of that thing you know like a bfg weapon from the old doom you know what i mean anyway no man's sky discontinues censorship on discovery naming confirmed <laughs> just taking out the profanity filter i doubt it's gonna be that but that's a lovely idea mirrors i guess so yeah there's quite a lot of ideas there and you can go come over here take a look at the comments yourself if you want to add one of your own chime in on this but i'm just doing a little bit of a a slow sort of scroll so you can see there just some of the ideas and feelings that people have got the lost and the damned the last one here by marky gaming and i just pointed out that most updates are often one word like companions or next or not well, just have a look at any of them to be fair i don't think we've had anyone that's been double barreled or two words you know it's always just one word i just wanted to point that out okay right so i've done other polls as well Based on this being the emoji, here's some update name ideas. What do you think is the most likely? Hex or Hexite? Only 2% of people think it might be that. The Cursed, or just Cursed, or Curse. 64% mm, of people think that that might be on the money. So there we go. Now there could be other words for Cursed. I mean, I haven't jumped into the whole Greek mythos sort of stuff. You know, there could be something there as well. I mean, they often refer to it as a hex, though. Banished or Banishment, quite like that one. Hades. Hades is the underbelly of the uh, Greek mythology. It's kind of like their version of hell. 1616, the Kazert, only 11% of people on board with that. Want to see poll results? Add in my own comment. 16% of people right there. But Cursed or Cursed seems to be ringing out at the moment to everybody. Joy Roth says, my get a Delta One guest redacted. Well, Delta One and Joy Roth are bringing it over here. That is a freaking brilliant idea. I really like that one, redacted. As we know, the Void Mother is kind of forgotten and so too are all of our children, the Echoes, that we help find shells for. In fact, we've got one sitting inside of the Nexus right now doing nothing. The big man spider up by Tethys, if you've built him, that is. Yeah, so perhaps redacted. I quite like that one. If, it, if it's not cursed, I, I would hope it's redacted, to be honest. That's, that, that makes sense. Or banished, even, you know. But I did too. The sacred and the profane. Update some deep new metaphorical lore. Heavy update. I'd be surprised if the update is that long in nameage, you know. But profane? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Sacred? Don't know. Cool. No clue. That emoji is hard to read. Something hard, that hard will make us curse. Inland combat, maybe. Multiplayer improvement to PvP. All those nice ideas. Nice ideas. I, that, I love this speculation time. Because you, know, you guys think differently to me, obviously. We all think differently to each other. And this, this nobody is wrong right now. You know, we're all just having fun in trying to guess what this emoji means. And that's part of, I think, Sean Murray's marketing ploy because these videos help drive traffic to, oh, what could it be? What's coming to No Man's Sky? It's an exciting time. All I would say is just don't get to run away with your ideas or other people's ideas. Just kind of keep things in check. It's just a bit of fun. 
Cool, yeah. Anyway, I think it's a play on words, Captain. Curse words, curse worlds. Yes, that, that's kind of exactly what I'm thinking. That's exactly what I'm thinking. You know, I think a lot of us are, to be fair. Angry and ugly, whatever it is, I don't get in his way. <laughs> Says Santos, little Monday, mate. Dark Lord Zarek there, we do have a clue to curse is to censor, censor, to hide something or remove. Yeah, well, the Void Mother kind of was censored, removed from the Atlas in a roundabout way and hidden all this time in plain sight, just offset from us inside of this sort of echo realm, perhaps even hiding in the realm of glass or the Void. I think it could have a lot to do with the Void Mother. I'm wondering whether it might be ARG Part 4, but we'll get to that in a moment. There's another tab, there's another poll. And there we go. We've learnt the Corvac's word for small. <laughs> Bcm says Levi Rivers. Okay, all right. There's there's keeping your hype in check, and then there's Levi Rivers. <laughs> Brilliant. You do make me chuckle, mate. Right here we go. Let's head on over to this one. Based on this being the emoji, what do you think the update is most likely to be in No Man's Sky? Okay. I don't think this is the emoji. Sean may have stubbed his toe. <laughs> I'll put that one in there as a little bit of a, you know, a bit of a, a joke or a jive. But Sean Murray could be just putting out an angry face for some reason. Maybe trying to get all their stuff in order for maybe the Game Awards or for the PlayStation 5 Pros released. Or maybe there's just something they've hit inside the office that we don't know about. Maybe they've had another flood. Who freaking knows? Well, they're actually on a, on, on, a, on a second floor now. If they're flooded, then something's gone majorly wrong in Guildford. But yeah, no, they wouldn't be flooded. Unless the ceiling collapsed. But oh God, no. But it could be something like that. It could be completely unrelated. This is the problem with one emoji. You know what I mean? But we have seen the internal depots get updated. So that's happened. If we start seeing the sales happen, either today or Monday, I think that's when we can really start getting excited. And this is definitely then the emoji. Or if Sean Murray does what he normally does, and he usually posts these free emojis. So if you see free emojis on Monday, I think that means that there's free more sleeps until the update's out. So, or if it happens late Sunday, whichever time zone he's in. But he usually puts three in a row. And I think that means three more sleeps. And then we see the update or trailer or something happen. You know, so there we go. That's what I think anyway. Void or Void Mother related Kazert type stuff, 1616. Only 7% hit that. I thought I was onto something. I thought that was a banger of an idea. Nope. Banish Realms Don't Drink the Water Halloween Expedition. 36% of people are there. They think it's going to be an expedition with lore, maybe a little bit of content, but not much. Think, you know, the whole fishing update, the uh, fishing expedition that we just had an update. Probably something along the lines of that. Maybe they might add stuff in for the, uh, you know, the scrap vendor under the stairs because other Halloweens has been given tainted metal items. Maybe we might see a replenishment of that. And maybe this might just be a Halloween type expedition with a bit of lore, a little bit of content that takes us into the new year takes us up to the reduxes and then maybe we might see worlds part two next year and maybe we might see the end of the arg next year who knows we might even see light no fire next year anyway not worlds part two that's for sure something smaller 23 percent of people hit that i mean you may as well add those two together to be fair because it's kind of the same thing and that's ringing out. That's that's speaking freaking volumes right now. I think a lot of people think this is going to be a spooky Halloween update that is more than likely going to be an expedition with a little bit of content bolted on. I kind of feel the same way. Yeah, I, I kind of feel that we that's probably going to be on the cards and it's probably going to take us all the way up to the start of December. The thing that's making me think there might be something more is the PlayStation 5 Pro enhanced version launching on the 7th of November. I think we might see something else happen then. I think there might be another update with inside of this update that happens then. Some sort of enhanced version update. Okay, want to see poll, poll uh, results? I've got an idea in the comments. So there's only, what, 12 on this one. Cursed update. Spooky, says Rob Gable, I guess. Cursed and cursing. Yeah, well, yep. Yeah. But that's exactly the line of thought that I think a lot of us have. Yep. Greg. Oh, God. I can't read your name, mate. Something red and angry. Cursing talking. Tax checks on console. <laughs> Something that will make us angry. Universe reset. Oh, God. 
don't mate really okay some hard bosses that will make us angry now that that would be good yeah i mean we've already had some of the bug bosses in and they were epic i think people loved having something else to go out there and give them a bit of a challenge and sh to shoot down yeah maybe cool yep yeah. someone is angry null the void mother the atlas or we could be any of those three you're quite right mate yeah null definitely yeah the void mother the atlas yeah yep pretty much halloween update i believe yep yeah. so here we go i'm just gonna just gonna scroll again quite slowly we get a little bit of a repeat of some of the things that other people have said blasphemy blasphemy is new though isn't it mad dog <laughs> that's a mad idea but yeah i doubt they would call it blasphemy or dogma or anything that has a religious connotation just because religion and no man's sky hasn't really gone overly hand in hand i mean you could say there is a spiritual undertone there with the whole repeating maybe linked to reincarnation or something but that's kind of you know reaching anyway here we go let's jump on over here being uh, okay a hint at world part twos or anything what do you think this update will be size wise so size wise what do you think it's going to be and in here i'm kind of saying i don't think it's going to be world's part two so i left this out of that poll i've done a specific one the last tab on here is all about world's part two guts tells me it's an expedition only but we've had four this year 24 percent of people have hit that up small content update heavy on lore maybe with an expedition 31 percent and that echoes into the other poll that we've just had so if you was wondering whether it might just be a one-off on that poll it's echoed here over here again that people think it's going to be small and an expedition okay so that's where i'm going to set my expectations around that sort of level okay cool. i don't think this is going to be wells part two myself however we've got one more tab to go i just hope they fix multiplayer and some loose ends and some polish once the poll results added in the in the whole thing oh yeah then yeah it could be arg part four which is quite possible as well at 17 percent scrolling down sweet it'd be cool if they put ai voiceover says boy i just see it again yeah lovely yeah we've had four this year but i think only three last year so we need to take it in 16 to start the year off straight whatever it is so i'd like to see them fix the trivial but the necessary errors i was kind of thinking the same thing you know i've done previous videos on the lead up to this with my own speculation of what i think might happen and when i kind of thought that we might see a big bang update come the 7th of november i still think that could be possible i still don't want to rule out that worlds part two might happen on that day i would like to hope that they do something big it just depends on what this is and if it is very halloween aligned then maybe they might if it's kind of void mother related and halloween aligned at the same time and already gives us something pretty juicy i think they would hold worlds part two back and deliver that in early next year perhaps hold it back until it's completely baked and it's awesome is what i'm thinking so if we don't see worlds part two i don't want you guys out there in the viewer verse to be disappointed because i think that just means that you need to bake it that little bit more to make it that extra special i mean at the end of the day worlds part two was freaking special wasn't it worlds part two was oh, i mean worlds part one was pretty amazing they've set the buy bar pretty high for them to beat part one part two has got to you know at least surpass it yeah we don't really want gremlins versus gremlins 2 or ghostbusters versus ghostbusters 2 do we what we want is terminator 1 versus terminator 2 or alien versus aliens you know it goes up a notch or some people go yeah i preferred aliens over alien or i liked terminator judgment day over the first terminator sometimes sequels are good and better than the original it's a rarity it's a rarity but it does happen i guess okay and so we're going to carry on down i bet it's a cursed maybe a halloween update like desolation would be cool yeah like desolation is what i'm thinking but then add in maybe an expedition or something and a way to maybe get some halloween unlocks is what i'm thinking it's like a lot of the actual armor sets that we've had recently they're missing parts like the last one we had has no gloves and it has no under armor and I think that's the same with the chitin armor as well. Or do you get hands with it? I think you got the gloves with the chitin, but there was something missing with the chitin armor set as well. I think the under armor as well was missing with that. So there's parts missing on both is what I'm saying. So maybe they might deliver those in as Halloween additional extras. Who knows? But here we go. I'm just going to do a little bit of a scroll down now because we are getting repeats of ideas and, and all that sort of stuff. Cool. 
Okay, so Charlene says, hoping for a bug fix that creates a crash bug that I'm stuck on. I can't end Expedition or return to Primary without the game crashing and the save unusable. I've deleted the save point, save and load, and the autosave. I have no fix for that one, Charlene. That one is new, new to me as well. I've not heard of that. That one, get it over to the Zendesk. Maybe do some video or something. Righto, so here we go. This is the last of my tabs of polls. If you don't like polls, you're probably happy. Okay, so here we go. Okay, maybe this emoji means it's cursing. Perhaps cursed worlds. And this is worlds part two. As we know from the game files, we might see purple systems, deeper oceans, and every planet may be dissonant. Void-like, do you think this is worlds part two? 60% of people have said, yes, that makes sense. Then 0% of people have said, no, that's reaching. I already put this live an hour ago. Let me give it a refresh. Let's see how it sits now, because I only had 20 votes there. We've now got 28, and we've got a 50-50 going on. Yes and maybe, but we've still got no, no no's, and we've got hardly any comments. Hope we get ARG part four. That could be the alternative. So if this isn't Wells Part 2, and if we don't get the purple systems, I still think that's going to happen. I just don't think it's going to happen this year. But the fact that this is someone cursing and these new worlds feel cursed, there is still a likelihood that this could be Wells Part 2. I just don't know. I would have imagined if it was going to be Wells Part 2, Sean might have used another sort of world emoji, because, but then is that too obvious? Does that sort of make the excitement levels go up or down if i saw another weld i'd be like oh here's worlds part two i'd be losing my freaking mind but to have this one with the censored and the expletive i'm like no i don't think it's worlds part two it doesn't scream worlds part two from the emoji but it does say it does scream out cursed or cursive or something nasty is coming something angry is coming and when you look at all the lore and the lead up to Worlds Part 2, it's definitely got connotations of that. So am I fully ruling out the fact that it could be, could be Worlds Part 2 based on that evidence that we just laid out? No, no, I'm not. I'm not ruling it out. I'm not ruling it out completely. If it is that, if we do get Worlds Part 2 in this update, I think that is a massive bonus. Where I'm setting my expectations is Halloween update, maybe another expedition. If it's World Part 2, which it could be, it's going to be mind-blowing. And I'll be like, oh my god, I've only got on freaking done it. Well done, Hello Games. Let's see. Let's see what this turns out to be, people. Whatever it is, I'm excited. And whatever it is, I don't think we've got long to wait. I think we're going to probably see the expedition end on Monday, the 21st. Then I think on the 22nd, we're going to, well, I think even on the Monday, we're going to see like the free emojis posted and we know that it's going to be happening that week. If we see Sean of the Murrays make a little cowboy out of that emoji, I think it's going to be an expedition. If we see Sean Murray post the gib, if we don't know what the gib is, I'll try and find it and put it there. If we see that appear in Sean Murray's tweets, then I think it could be Worlds Part 2. No. Because he only uses that when there's a massive update in the wings. And the little cowboy thing that he does is usually when there's an expedition. So I think the next couple of days are going to be very telling on the size of this update. Now, if he does do the cowboy emoji thing, or if he does do another pattern with emojis, I'll try and tell you what I think it means. If he does the gib, I'll be coming back here and I'll be recanting on a lot of what I've said and said, get your freaking seatbelts on, get locked in. This could be Worlds Part 2. This could be bigger than what I initially thought. This might not just be a Halloween update. So let's watch Sean Murray's feed. Let's see what happens over there. Let's hope that we see the gib. But if we don't see the gib, let's just be excited for what we are going to be getting, you know. And I am excited to see what the PlayStation 5 Pro version of No Man's Sky looks like. And I'm hoping to see that some of that polish, some of that sort of like optimization makes it onto other platforms and we all benefit from it. Because we've seen that 
We've seen that happen when it came over to PlayStation 5 and the newer gen. I mean, the PlayStation 4 and the older X Xbox are benefiting from some of these uplifts in graphical fidelity, the improvements to water, even slightly on the reflection side of things. So let's just hope, keep our fingers crossed, that whatever gets delivered in makes this world, makes it more immersive and makes it more fun. Until next time, people. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.